is up everyone welcome back to another episode of JB Outdoors today I'm gonna to be working on making a battery box for some portable power all year long uh, I'm gonna be using this mostly for ice fishing this year uh, if you've had it if anyone's ever filmed ice fishing before you know that it's almost impossible to keep your batteries charged and warm so this is gonna help me out a lot I'm gonna be doing this with uh, some scrap 1x8s and a uh, scrap piece of 1x12. So I'm going to get started on cutting this wood and then we're going to get inside because it's cold. It's about 30 degrees in the garage right now. So uh, stick with me, stay tuned, and we will see you in a little bit. So I've got my pieces cut. Now I'm going to use some tight bond that's the brand of wood glue that i like to use best uh, we're going to use wood glue and then we're also going to use our brad nailer we have a boss stitch brad nailer with two inch brads now i've chosen to use the bottom piece i've marked all my pieces and then i have two uprights and they're going to go directly get nailed directly to the outside and then I'll have the wider pieces along here. Now I've got another piece here that I still have to rip to width because I just have one by eights to play with so I'm going to get started on this and we will see you in a little bit. Got my last pieces ripped and cut. Now I want the purpose of this, instead of this being one whole piece, I want a little bit of a gap right here. And I want this because I want this box to be able to vent. Um, batteries, this is not a sealed battery, so it will put off a little bit of gas that you can't see or smell. So I'm gonna get this guy nailed down. Okay, so I have my box built. I just cut the piece for the lid. And this will have some nice hinges. So let's see if it fits. Absolutely perfect. Now the next step of this is going to be wiring. Obviously putting the, the lid on. And then I'm going to cut a hole in the lid so this will be the very outside of the lid. This is going to sit in the middle of the lid here. I'm going to cut a hole to fit this through and then we're going to start to wire. So, so I've got my hinges on. Battery fits great. The next thing to do is to mount my panel. Now this panel I bought on Amazon. Um, I can leave the link in the description down below. It's got a 12 volt, uh, more like a car charger outlet. This readout will actually show my real time voltage on the battery. And then it has two USB chargers, 2.1 amp, 5 volt, and um, 
five rocker switches. That comes pre-wired with inline fuses. I have one ground at the end of the series. And then this is my load wire for each thing. So I will show you guys what I'm gonna be doing with this once I get this panel mounted and a uh, couple of the switches wired up. So I'll keep you posted. Well, I think I've gotten our box pretty much where I want it, so let's take a look at what I've done so far, and I hope you all enjoy this. So to start, I bought a few things for this box. The rest of it I pretty much had laying around. So the biggest piece that I needed was this panel that, had, that comes pre-made, the rocker switches, a digital readout. We have a 12 volt for a car charger, and two USB ports. 5 volt, 2.1 amp charge. This all came with it. I went to the hardware store just today and I bought these. These are called chest handles. You go on the end of a uh, chest or a cedar chest, something like a hope chest. And then I also bought this latch. So you use this latch just to keep this lid down. Uh, we'll open it up. I'll show you what I did here. So this was already wired. Everything here is wired. Uh, both loads are under a fuse here, so they have the biggest load here that is my LED light here. Um, we'll get into that a little bit later. Everything is with heat shrunk connectors, which I still need to put some heat to them. So I ran just little eyelets to go over the post on the terminals. And then I'll have wing nuts. So now it shows our readout. And we're reading 12.6 volts. Um, we have five rocker switches here. The only one that I have hooked up right now is for the LED light, but I'll move the camera for that one a little bit later. Right now, our USB charge is ready to go, so I can pretty much charge my phone, my cameras. Um, for example, these are the these are the batteries to my. Uh, GoPro, my action style camera. So they're charging right now, and this is already regulating the voltage and the amperage to the charger in the correct manner. Or for another example, I can charge my phone, or like this, I use as um, kind of a backup camera. So right now it's charging. I have it on a Mophie case so I can keep it charging at that time, at the same time. And then the last thing here is uh, this LED light. Now this is actually an automotive light that can be used in many different applications. My plan for this, obviously I mentioned it before, but I want to use this for ice fishing mostly. So um, at night I want to be able to shine down, uh, put it in my hub and actually be able to shine down my for crappie, um, kind of draw them in. So I wired that to the very last switch on this side. So when you turn it on, the light actually comes on. It's an indication light that it's on. And it puts a pretty good draw on this. Um, 
but I haven't charged this battery at all since I've gotten it. So looks like we've dropped about uh, two tenths of a, a voltage. So brings it right back up to 12 and a half, 12.6 somewhere in there. It's been a really cool little project actually. So this will be a view for the light. Puts off quite a bit of light. I believe it's like a 14 or 15 watt LED light here. Bring it around to this side. So obviously my goal was to have this as a battery backup. I can use this in many different applications. I'm gonna probably keep modding this a little bit. I'm actually gonna put one of these nice little mounts for my camera, and then I can point this right towards, just put it right on top of that, point it right towards the hole so I can actually be able to film everything without using a, a janky tripod or anything like that. So, so the only other couple things that I want to do with this is I'm going to seal that wood up. It's not treated or anything like that. So the only other thing I want to do is paint it or maybe run a bead of silicone along the bottom of it and then get a good seal on it. So uh, that's something for the future, but I wanted to get this build in and maybe give you guys some good ideas. And if you have any more ideas, let me know. Obviously this is a 12 volt system, so I can pretty much wire anything 12 volt to it. So be happy to take any kind of recommendations and I appreciate it. Now of course you're all wondering how much does this thing weigh because I have a full-size battery. I'm going to set it on the old bathroom scale. Total of 58.4 pounds there. That's a completely assembled unit. So hope you like this video. If you have, please like, subscribe, comment down below. Um, if you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. I'm not going to go too in-depth about how I wired it at all because, you know, obviously there's liability there. So, um, again, I'm Justin with JB Outdoors. Spend more time outdoors, and we will see you in the next one.